Hey guys, welcome, it's Eric Roberts. Today we're looking at the MIDI Commander by Mellow Audio. Check this bad boy out. We're gonna open it up and I'm gonna tell you exactly what crazy idea I have for this thing. All right, so guys, think way back to when you were learning to play guitar. Of course, I just had a little amp and then I had a little pedal, a few pedals. Now it's getting more pedals and now we have these giant pedal boards. And now I'll come in the Kemper and the Fractal, the Axe, all these crazy software programs. But how do you control them with your feet? And also, I have a crazy idea about the future. And this is Mellow Audio MIDI controller. This bad boy can control anything that takes MIDI. It can also plug into your iPad. This is it. We're gonna cut it open right now and we're gonna see what it is. This is just an unboxing and I'm gonna share with you what I'm gonna do with this as a worship guitarist. Um, and I'm gonna show you how you could probably create a really awesome small rig with just a little bit of money. Uh, you may not know what the Kemper or the Axe, uh, all these uh, software programs are that people are using the Line 6, the Helix, all these things cost thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars. This little guy, very, very affordable, but it doesn't really have a brain. What it does is it controls whatever you have. So this can control the Kemper, it can control the Fractal, the Axe, the, control your Mac, control anything in Logic. You know, you can control probably your keyboard or whatever you want to. And then as we go forward with these videos this week, I'm gonna show you how I'm creating a whole new rig and go into church with just this little thing right here in my iPad. Thank you, thank, no, no, thank you. Thank you for watching. If you order one, you can get these on Amazon. The links are below. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Think about this, look at this. Think about all the possibilities. I mean, what's going through your head, guys? It's got battery power here. So this, this runs on battery and it charges batteries. Two expression pedals, which I just did. If you missed it, check out the link below for the expression pedal opening. So what they sent us in the box is standard USB cable, you know, standard USB because it's going to plug in. Oh yeah, and old school, old school MIDI, baby, old school MIDI. I mean, these things are being replaced by USB MIDI, but if you have old school MIDI equipment and you want to control this, being that this is a MIDI uh, controller, they've given us both. So now it controls MIDI with the USB or MIDI with a real, this is really cool though, that this comes with a real MIDI port. Some of the newer gear that I've been finding doesn't have a real MIDI port and it just annoys me because I'm old, man, I like it. I'm old school, I want the old school MIDI port. So as I go forward, I'm gonna be showing you how I'm gonna set up step-by-step -step an iPad MIDI Commander rig. It's gonna be small, compact, it's gonna be super awesome. We're gonna be able to control anything. It can go for any style of music, but I'm gonna focus mostly on my worship genre, on my church gig. Uh, if I'm going to a youth night and I don't wanna drag all this stuff, the problem with all my stuff is right now, the biggest problem is it's huge. I get this huge case for my for my uh, pedal board. I get this huge amp. I get just dragging this in and then I drag it home and drag it in. I'm kinda of thinking, that if I can get my iPad to work really well with this, then I can have some awesome tone, and for all under 500 bucks, I mean, my, 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 my amp and all these pedals, easily in the thousands, and like I said before, the Kemper and any of these uh, multi-effects units that are, that are really popular, thousands of dollars. So, I wanna save some money. I wanna save some money and I wanna be portable. I wanna walk in with a little suitcase like, hey, I'm here to play, and plug in. You can even probably get everything you need in your guitar case and get to the gig and plug it in. Now, I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose anything in this. I want to be able to control everything. So in my other video, I opened up the FX, the EPX001 expression pedal. You can put two of these into the MIDI commander. So you have all the buttons, the banks, you can control your banks over here, just like on your line six pedals, you can go up, down banks, it has the digital readout. It has one, two, three, four, E. It has A, B, C, D, and E. One, two, three, and four. This thing has about all of the buttons that my Line 6 HD or XP uh, Live had. It has all the buttons. So I can just imagine once I get it all set up, once I get this all bad boy plugged in, get it all hooked up with the iPad, I could go in there with just this and that, and I could do it all for way under 500 bucks, especially. Uh, and specifically if you have your iPad already or your iPhone and, and everybody's got that stuff. So guys, if you like the video, share, subscribe, uh, do all those things that you do on YouTube. Get down with the YouTube thing, click the bell.
can use any program. You can use Amplitude, you can use Bias FX, which is what I'm gonna use. And you can also, for, for you guys who already own MIDI equipment, you can also just plug this in and control other parameters. One really cool thing I heard this thing does is like for Logic Pro recording, it starts and stops the record button and stuff like that.